Alright, so this is a low gold diva, so let's see what we can do to help them keep their gold. Okay. It's not shooter trap that's already destroyed. Be kind of our first step. So what you did wasn't so bad from the fact that you really wanted to close in on the Junkrat and kill him. Kill him. What was bad about that is you weren't really thinking about where your team was and who your teammates are. McCree is going to have a kind of hard time closing in. Reaper wasn't in position to close in. And so when you try and close in like that, you are going to have a pretty rough time most of the time. Okay, let's not defense matrix when we're right in front of them. We can do our maximum damage and really melt them. Okay, so do you kind of see how you're your only team's tank as far as I can tell? But you're kind of playing far back. You're kind of just playing like another DPS. So essentially like what we've done on D.Va so far is we've only played like a low damage DPS. So at that point... Oh, you do have a Zarya. Okay. So at that point, it kind of makes me wonder, like, why why play tank if we're not going to create space for our team? Like, you're flanking, right? And that's not what D.Va does. What would have been better is if you could have stayed over on that side with your team. So... Pretty much your entire team, so the entire enemy team was within like this square here. And then pretty much your entire team was within like this square here. And you went on a flank and went around over here. And in the meantime, your enemies just pushed on your team and killed them. Diva's a really good hero to stop those pushes. And so if you would have stayed over here, you might have been able to protect your team from that push that was coming in, and maybe your McCree and Reaper could have got a lot of damage off and got a kill or two, and you guys would have won that fight. But instead, because you were on this flank, they killed your team, and then now that your team's dead, you're an easy farm, and there's nothing to worry about for the enemy team at all. That's part of the reason that like Ryan can work really well in lower elos, because it makes your team just want to group up on you. You have a big shield. Nice job wanting to go behind cover to get your mech back, because I think you would have got farmed otherwise. Okay, so when we bombed right there, why did we think we were going to get any kills? There was nothing pushing your enemies, like your allies weren't here or anything like that, so the, there's nothing to stop them from just running over here, and your Moira is dead, and so you're down one, so even if you get one kill, all you did was even it. So this bomb makes no sense. Not a bad angle to throw it in to kind of sneak it on point and stuff like that, but just your timing of it makes absolutely no sense, and if it got kills, it was because your enemies just didn't even care about it. The Ryan could have literally just turned around and shielded the whole team. There would have been nothing to it. And now you're pushing while your team is still not in position and your Moira is dead still. Well, she respawned now, but she's not back yet. So I don't really get, you know, the thought process there. We bombed solo and then we pushed solo and our bomb got nothing and we got nothing. Gold is like the first point where you need some like semblance of teamwork to continue climbing. Bronze and silver you can solo carry out of it all day. So maybe let's just run away. When we got to the fight they had already gotten 3 kills. So it was a 3v6 when we got to the fight.
Okay. So if you wanted to do that, like if you wanted to farm your mech when you flew up, or if you wanted to farm your bomb, why, how come when you flew up you didn't just land up here? You could take a couple of shots down and then drop back on when they're contesting point. You can give them like a tiny bit of time, like you know there's going to be an overtime timer and stuff like that, and so you don't need to stress so much. And you maybe could have farmed your diva bomb, and you have another ally on, so you didn't even need to be on. So you maybe could have farmed your diva bomb, which could have changed that whole game. You're having real issues playing as a tank with your team, which is really causing you and your team to suffer. There's a few ways you can fix that. You can fix that just by physically staying closer to each other. You can fix that by communicating through voice and like planning what direction you're gonna push together. You can fix that by not going off on your own, like when your team finally is grouped up or not solo bombing or something like that. And you'll start having a lot better time right off the bat. There's definitely some cooldown stuff, some mechanic stuff. You know, I started to mention some of the defense matrix stuff at the earlier and stuff like that. But currently, you're playing this like a solo game, which is why you can't climb. And like right here was an example of kind of the defense matrix stuff, just so you know as you're climbing. This would not be what I would focus on right now because you have bigger things to worry about. But right here, do you see how you use your entire defense matrix to eat one fire strike? You can let them shoot you a tiny bit, like one or two may icicles is not going to change your life. But now you have zero defense matrix, so that if they had an anti-grenade or a grab or anything like that, there's no chance you could eat it even. Definitely doesn't feel so good there, but definitely some stuff to work on. Really work on playing with your team and you'll instantly start doing better. It's a team game, especially in gold and above.